Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Anzul Ahmed, lecturer in history. Our today's question for 12th class students of history subject is discuss the evidence that suggests that indicates planning and coordination on the part of the rebels during the revolt of 1857. Dear stud students, uh, we know that the revolt of 1857 started on 10th May 1857 from the Meerut military cantonment where the Indian soldiers of the British East India Company, known as Sepoys, broke out a revolt and these Sepoys turned into rebels. And after this, the Sepoys in different parts of India revolted against the British East India Company and became rebels. And now we have to see, we have to explain that, how can we say that the rebels who fought against the British, who revolted against the British in different parts of India had proper planning and coordination while fighting against revolt in revolt against the Britishers. So how can we say, what are the evidence to suggest that there was proper planning and coordination among the rebels while fighting against a British East India Company? Let's answer the question. Dear students, it is believed that that a number of incidents that took place during the revolt of 1857, um, these incidents show that the rebels who were fighting in different parts against the British East India Company had proper planning and coordination. Let us discuss those incidents which show that there was some kind of planning and coordination among rebels. Number one, dear students, it is believed that the similarity in the pattern of uh, pattern of the events during the revolt in different parts and places of India suggests some sort of planning and coordination. It is believed that wherever the revolt started, at all places, the British officers, the British officers, British people and all symbols of British government uh, uh, in different places were first of all attacked. So, the at different places attacking the symbols of the British government, attacking British officers, killing British officers, attacking British officers, burning British officers and attacking all symbols of uh, British in India clearly indicates that there was some sort of planning wherein it was decided to attack all symbols of the British government in India. Had there not been planning, had there not been coordination and planning, then attacks would not have been taking place at all places against the, first of all, against the, the symbols of the British government in India. So, they, at the outset of the revolt, wherever the revolt started, they, at the very outset, the attacks on the British symbols at different places clearly indicates that there was coordination and there was some kind of... Uh, planning among rebels while fighting the revolt. Number two, the wide spread circulation of chapatis just before the revolt is regarded as an important evidence of an organized conspiracy. Dear students, it is believed that just before the revolt, that is from the month of February 1857, chapatis were being circulated throughout the country in different parts of India. Not only this, the chapatis were circulated among the police personnel as well, police personnel of the British East India Company and it is believed that the mysterious circulation of chapatis throughout India uh, had made the British government in India very much suspicious and very much uh, irritating that what was the reason behind the circulation of chapatis throughout, the, th throughout India and after clues after so many uh, we can say guesses the British government was not able to conclude what was the reason behind the circulation of chapatis and it is believed that when the revolt of 1857 started in May 1857 people thought that the circulation of chapatis was perhaps an indication from the organizers of the revolt that that uh, to make aware all the people throughout the throughout India that something very much extraordinary is going to happen very soon. That's why chapatis were circulated circulated throughout the country, and the circulation of chapatis perhaps 
indicated, given hint to the people of different people in different parts of India that something very extraordinary was going to happen very soon. And what happened was the revolt of 1857. So it is believed that the circulation of chapatis throughout India in different parts of India also uh, indicates that there was some kind of planning and coordination among rebels before starting the revolt. Number three, in Kanpur and other areas, panchayats were held. In these panchayats, decisions about future planning were taken collectively. So had there been no coordination and no cooperation, panchayats would not have been held jointly by the people, by all sections of people, and decisions would not have been taken by the people jointly. So holding panchayats, rather, rather conducting panchayats, and this uh, uh, this deciding about the future course of action of the of the revolts also indicates that there was some sort of planning and coordination among the rebels who fought the revolt. Number four, there were also evidences of communication between the sepoy, sepoys uh, of various cantonments because it is believed that. Uh, the sepoys of various cantonments had devised some particular, some special kind of uh, this uh, special kind of communication with one another, with the help of which they were able to know, they, they were able to know the developments of sepoys in different parts of the India, in, in different in different areas, and used to deploy sepoys to the area where there was most need, where there where they were most needed. So there is also believed that there was some sort of communication between the sepoys as well of various communities. Number five, the news of fall of Delhi spread like wildfire. Means the news of the fall of Delhi into the hands of the rebels spread like wildfire in the country. And this, uh, the news of fall of Delhi, news of com coming Delhi into the hands of the rebels, falling just like wildfire throughout the country was only possible when there would have been, when there was proper planning and proper communication and coordination to spread this news to different parts of the country. Number six, the movement of, rebel, movement of rebels from one station to another station also indicated coordination among them. Number seven, local leaders as well as as well encouraged the peasants, zamindars and tribals to fight as a united front. So all the points above makes us make us clear that there is perhaps some sort of coordination and cooperation and planning among rebels while fighting the revolt of 1857. Thank you.